Hey, what's going on Flash Mob? It's your boy Flash back again with another HoneyBook tutorial. And today we're gonna to be talking about a highly anticipated feature called Smart Files. I'm gonna help you understand what Smart Files are, what they do, and why you need them. If it's your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about helping you turn your passion into a paycheck while it's taking you along my filmmaking journey. If that's the kind of thing that you're into, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you aren't a HoneyBook user yet, I'll let you know that I have a great $1 per month for eight months promo where you can get all of HoneyBook's features and services. If this is something you're interested in, I'll leave the link in the description for you to use my code. So I guess the first thing we should answer is what are smart files? So if I were to explain this in the most simple way, it would be a simple living document that compiles all of HoneyBook's services into one easy to follow format. Giving clients the ability to seamlessly get all of their information required to get their projects started and finished. If you've been using HoneyBook for any amount of time, you will know that you could use such things as questionnaires, contracts, invoices, brochures, proposals, and things along those lines. Together, they make it really easy for you to gather client information and send out everything you need to send out to get them to book your services. What if I told you that HoneyBook just made that a lot easier? With smart files, you can create something similar to a brochure where you share some of your company information, maybe all of your products and services, then also give clients the ability to fill out a questionnaire, pay an invoice, and sign a contract, all in the same place. Why this is great is because it prevents you as a business owner from having to repeat steps over and over that a client would want from the very beginning. What I mean by that is, before I would send out a brochure, wait for the client to make a selection, then go and create a proposal where they would also see their selections in an invoice along with a contract. So one thing I love about HoneyBook is how much they try to make their services simple. They actually take all of your services and automatically create smart files for every single one. HoneyBook also gives you the ability to create a template where you can choose from a few pre-made options and basically fill in the information and content that you wanna use for your brand. I love this because it's a really simple way to get started with a clean and functional smart file. What I like to do is use Canva to create simple graphics that I want to be in my smart files. I like doing this because I like to have a little bit more creative control over how everything is going to look and it makes it a bit easier to keep my branding consistent. If we look at my cinematography brochure, on the right hand side we'll see that I have 7 pages. I like to give my clients a small introduction to the business and what we're capable of, then follow up with our processes. One of the things I've learned over the years is clients like the route of least resistance. What that means is if it's easy for them to get the information they want from you to make a decision, chances are they're going to book with you. After we get through the intro and processes, I let them know about the services we offer and what they cost. On this page, I like to also make a selection required before they can move forward. The way to do that is by clicking on the selection area and turning on selection is required. This is a good idea because it makes the client make a decision. Are we moving forward on the project or are we just thinking about it? Either way, I know what's happening and have the ability to do what I have to do next. What's also really cool about the service selection page is you can go in and customize the quantities. For example, on my cinematography for events, the rate is $300 per hour. But because I know we are never there for one hour, I can change the minimum to two hours. You can also change the units here as well as the price. Take a minute guys and like the video if this information is helping so far. Of course you can adjust the way it looks as well. I like to keep it pretty simple. Add a little shadow around the edges and keep it moving. The next four pages is all about closing the deal. The invoices page just reflects their selection from the services page as well as the payment breakdown the way you want it to be set up. I like to do two payments, 50% at the time of booking, remaining balance on the production date. But if you want to add more payments, just click on the add a payment section then select how you want to break down the payments by either a percentage, custom, or equal payments and select when the payment needs to be made. Of course, you want to attach an agreement with whatever services you provide because it just protects you in case anything goes wrong. And it also helps you to present yourself as more of a professional. I like to include a frequently asked questions page to help answer some of my clients' general questions. And actually, I think I want to change which page a client sees that. It's as easy as going back to your overview panel Click and hold on the title that you want to move and basically drag it up to the position that you want it to be in. And you're done. The last page is where they actually go ahead and make a credit card payment for the project. The only options here to use is a credit card, leave a tip option, and set up make auto pay mandatory. I want you guys to remember, this is a single file being sent to your clients. Basically, my seven steps that I would have done separately before are all now sent out at once. Of course, if you don't want to send out everything all at once, you can separate your smart files in a way that you want. But this is the most efficient way to do it. 
If you want to send out your smart file, that's also pretty easy. Select whichever option you want to use then find a smart file that you want to send. You can then quickly review the pages and make sure everything is the way that it should be and make any changes if necessary. Then click the share button at the top right. From there, you'll get a quick email page where you can select a template and send. Note, for any clients that have any major security risks, you can also turn on the client authentication that requires your client to enter a code before viewing the information I send. For these projects, it's really not that serious, but you have the option if you want it. And that's pretty much it for the Smart Files overview. If you're just getting started with HoneyBook, I would definitely suggest taking some time to add all of your services and a few email templates. Then going in and creating a Smart File template for whatever services you offer. It will probably take a day or two, but once you have it all created, it's as easy as choosing the services and sending it out. Simple. If you guys would like to see a video where I show you how I create a smart file from scratch, leave a message in the comments. And if you're ready to get started now, the link to my $1 per month promo is in the description below. And if this information has helped you, like the video and send it out to a friend as well. Thanks for watching guys, and remember to always look, learn, and share. Take it easy guys, peace. Thank you.